Due to the international silicon shortage and the incredibly high pricing of scalping of GPUs right now, getting your hands on any graphics card at all is nigh impossible. But when you do get your hands on one, it's probably going to be used and it's probably going to be old. So, I got my hands on a couple old, used graphics cards to see which one, you know, is usable. To start out, I got the 560 Ti and I went through a couple different tests with it. I went through a couple different tests with all of these different graphics cards, all of them in the same system except for the graphics cards using a Ryzen 5 uh, 3600, a 1080p, and at max settings across the board unless otherwise stated. So the 560 Ti in Time Spy got only 3.51 frames per second at the maximum not great uh, so I went with fire strike I tried that out I got 9.36 frames per second max I went and tried tomb later at maximum I got 36 frames per second and on average I got 26.9 frames per second so we bumped it up a little bit we're gonna try shadow with the tomb later and shadow in the tomb later got maximum 30 frames per second and at minimum 8 frames per second it was completely unplayable the shading was all over the place it was just it was hard to look at <laughs> to say the least so just to get a little esports in there though i tried csgo and it was honestly it was pretty good um at maximum i got 300 frames per second averaging out around 100 but going through any of the smoke and going through the grenade benching i hit 17 at my lowest which is Oh, pretty drag. I also wanted to try something a little on the older side as far as games go, so I went with the Metro Last Light Redux, which is still a good looking game. Um, and I got, on average, 30 frames per second. And it was completely playable, even in intense firefights where the lighting, the lighting is changing on and off here and there. The next graphics card that I got was the R7 360. On Time Spy, I got 11.36 at maximum. In Fire Strike, I got 13.53 at max. In Tomb Raider, I got a max of 44 and an average of 32.6. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I got a maximum of 40 frames per second and an average of 26. So, honestly, not all that bad. In CSGO, this one was actually really interesting to me. So I got... 8 frames per second in the smoke at my very lowest and only a maximum of 200 so very different from the 560 Ti um, but still it's just strange in Metro Last Light I got an average of 44 frames per second so still pretty playable across the board just for kicks I got my hands on a GeForce 8400 GS beautiful card beautiful card <laughs> it could not run times five it could not run fire strike at all wouldn't do it so i had to default all the way back to cloud gate and uh it started really high at 39 frames per second and then immediately dropped to 5.92 so not so great tomb raider crashed immediately so I dropped the settings down to normal, and it actually started, and it benched at a maximum of 6 frames per second, and a minimum of 4.4. On average, we got about 5 frames per second. Totally playable. Completely playable, obviously. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider? Nah. nah. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. CSGO decided to uh, just close itself and not reopen at all i had to force close it in task manager it was great it was really good and in metro last light i got an average of two frames per second and that was still at high so i dropped the settings down to low as low as they would go i got a maximum of eight frames per second great <laughs> so that was the lowest by far completely lowest that it's gonna be so we went back up to the top and the number one I think used graphics card across the board that I've even seen right now 
is a 580. This is the 8 gigabyte model that I got my hands on. So Time Spy maxed out at 30.57 frames per second. Fire Strike got 42.22. Tomb Raider got a maximum of 126 frames per second and an average of 101. Completely playable. Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the other hand got a maximum of 104 and an average of 65 still completely playable and that's at maximum settings too CSGO at its very lowest was 23 frames per second going through the smoke but at maximum 1110 and Metro Last Light kept a solid 60 frames per second regardless of what was going on at completely maximum settings all of these cards across the board, they were completely cleaned, re-thermal paste, and reset into their heat sinks individually. Uh, so I gave them all a fair running chance. I'm just going to pop up a little grid here, showing the difference between all the different cards, starting with Time Spy, and then Fire Strike. Here's Tomb Raider. Here's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Here's CSGO. And here's Metro Last Light. So I mean, like all of us, whatever you can get your hands on is better than literally nothing whatsoever. There are still some cards that, you, even in today's world, the best that they can do is play something on YouTube. But that's all for me today. Let me know what you got going on your system right now. If you like this video, leave me a like. Comment down in the comments section. Subscribe for more content in the future. But otherwise, I'm Waylon. This is at the PCs. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day.